Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. Today we'll look upon sales order, how to work within SAP Business One with sales order. Now sales order is an important document. It is important because it affects your uh, planning production, it affects uh, creating purchase order, it affects your scheduling resources. One unique feature of SAP Business One is that you can create purchase order directly from your sales order, thereby streaming your supply chain as well as material requirement, planning processes and other features or other requirements of a business. Let's say you received an order from your one of your customer and the order goods are not in stock. You want to create a purchase order directly from the sales order to buy the goods from a supplier or a vendor. Now you can get an order and the volume of the order can be large and uh, the customer that you are dealing with you do not want to upset that customer. In other scenario you can check in your stock and if you see that there is a shortage of supply meaning that some portion of the order you can fulfill some portion is short of the order you can thereby uh, proceed on creating a purchase order and thereby fulfilling the sales order other case in trading that means that you buy goods and sell them at higher price you receive a sales order from a customer what you can do you can directly uh, copy that sales order and, uh, to your purchase order and then fulfill the customer requirement also you can change the sales order you can change the quantities update prices discounts and so on after you have posted it this is as long as possible appropriate settings that is found in administration module if those settings are missing then this luxury may not be available to every user in SAP Business One, sales order affect your stock level. This means when you create a sales order and you post it, the stock available to sell is reduced by the quantity in order. When you enter sales order, though no inventory transaction occurs, but uh, the items mentioned within the sales order are reserved or in other words allocated to that customer. Let's see about uh, the typical scenario of sales order. Let's say that there is a customer who wants five printers. You enter the customer code, you enter the item that is your printer, you enter the quantities that is five in your sales order. Now the system will determine the price automatically based on customer's assigned price list. Let's say if there is a discount to the customer, you enter that discount and if there is a, an advanced payment, that has been already uh, entered into the system then customer might also be eligible for an early payment discount. This all things are based on the payment terms and these all things are based on your relationship with the customer. Let's continue with the scenario. Now in our business example we have assumed that our customer has ordered 5 printers and when it is time to ship those 5 printers to the customer the quantity of five printers is reduced from the inventory. Now adding a delivery reduces the actual inventory levels. When you post a delivery, the corresponding goods issue is also posted. The goods leave warehouse, the inventory quantity, uh, quantities are reduced. And if you are running perpetual inventory, then the relevant inventory changes are posted to accounting. What is perpetual inventory? We'll see in the next slide. If the delivery is based on a sales order, then the committed quantity from that order is also reduced. Now, a delivery records that good has been shipped. This document also is sometimes referred as a packing slip or a delivery note. The effect of this delivery is that the inventory account is credited for the item cost and the cost of goods sold account is debited. Also, if you have multiple sales order to be delivered to one customer, you can open a blank delivery, you can add the customer name, you can use copy from to select the list of the sales order or quotations for that customer. 
let's see over the highlights of uh, sales order the sales order contains information for placing the order delivering goods invoicing the customer which we have seen already the sales order can be changed after the posting as long as the appropriate set settings are there to now perpetual inventory provides a highly detailed view of changes in inventory and allows real time reporting of the amount of inventory in stock hence accurately reflecting the level of goods on hand let's say if you deliver five printers then uh, at the same time when you will check your system uh, there will be a reduction of five printers in the total quantity there is a perpetual inventory another is a periodic inventory periodic inventory is maintained in periods that means you can set period one week or one month or an yearly inventory maintenance it is highly depending on the type of business that you are doing let's see about the things that we will learn in the coming slides we'll look upon the form settings whereby you can have the options what you want to see on the grid what you want to see on the header level or the uh, uh, foot level or in the uh, middle grid what are the vo volume and the weight calculations on sales document what is my payment means and how what are the options that i can see the gross profit what is the base document what is my target document and how do, do you fit the column width in uh, a form that is open in sap business one how do you export a sales document to word how do you export that sales document to an excel there is an option uh, within sap business one uh, by which you can export this sales order to the excel file you can even export this sales order to an ms word file or a pdf file let us start by exporting this sales order to an excel file you can see the excel icon here what i can do i can simply press this um, excel icon keeping my form open at that time what it will do it will export all this information within the uh, sales order to an excel file you can see here uh, this is the screenshot of that excel file that i got after exporting uh, the sales order i have my item number i have the item description i have the quantities you can see all the information in this highlighted area is same that i have uh, received in an excel file this is an easy tool um, uh, or rather a useful tool used by the sales people uh, this can be used to get a good look at the data or run further summaries or calculation and can even be used to import the data back within as a business one using the data transfer wizard let's continue by exporting this sales order to a word document when you press this icon uh, of word document this document you will be getting now to get this document is a little tricky part where you have to configure uh, a template within sap business one in the administration module then you will have this document uh, to be seen or displayed in word format same way you can export the sales order to a pdf this is an um, a useful tool both exporting to excel or word or even some cases uh, pdf because uh, this uh, documents can be mailed to the customer let's continue with uh, looking at the volume and the weight calculation now what about volume and the weight calculation if you maintain length measurements volume specifications and weights for the items in the master record you can calculate the total volume and the weight of the delivery uh, at the time of delivery or even at the time of sales order uh, by using those information and this information may be required because uh, many times the freight charges are dependent on the weight and the volume of uh, the product that is shipped what i can do i can either uh, click on this icon here and i'll have this window open which will have all the items uh, on that sales order or on or on that uh, sales uh, document 
or I can right click on this sales order and choose the caption of volume and the weight calculation that we have already seen in the sales quotation in the previous sessions. Now here the information is blank. The reason is this thing that we have not maintained the volume and the weight measurement at the item master level in the inventory module. Once we maintain those information, the volume and the weight uh, field will be uh, having some numeric values into it. Another option is to see my gross profit. This is uh, a very useful option for any salesperson. What you can do is you can take a look at what you are gaining from this deal. You can either right click on the page itself or on the form itself and you can press on the caption of gross profit or you can press on this icon here. What goes behind this sale, uh, calculation is this thing that the system calculates individual uh, profits and then sums it to the total um, document profit. Another useful tool is form settings. Here you can see that I have highlighted this icon here and this is what you get. What I can do is this thing that I can check off or check on any of these fields and I will be able to uh, see those fields or I will be able to hide those fields here. This is a very useful tool. When you process a sales document you can define the fields and the columns that should be displayed or activated or deactivated in the documents. This enables you to display frequently used detailed information so that you can enter the data more easily, hence saving the time. Now form settings let you hide frequently used fields, rows and other options for an active window. You can also arrange the table or the row format here or the document or the UI elements and the form setting option is available for uh, in the main menu setup and the list of windows etc. When it is one of the very important feature for a user as it saves the time for that user. Another important feature of SAP Business One is this thing that you can have the form setting for a user one and then you can copy those form settings for another user and hence the implementation time or the configuration time is saved. Let's continue. Here we can see that our sales order is now in shape. What I can do, I can either copy it to delivery, I can either copy it to AR invoice. In our next session we will be uh, looking um, uh, a little more about the sales order and we'll be starting it with delivery and invoicing. Thank you.